Hello everyone! In this video I'm going to quickly show and cover all the basics you need to get a perfect IV Pokemon through breeding. It is honestly pretty surprisingly quick to do as I hatched all of these Pokemon within 40 minutes of total recording. This video is also kind of a follow up to my ditto catching guide where by the end of that I caught these three ditto that I'm showing right now and said that you can use them to make a Pokemon with perfect IVs so now I'm going to explain how to do that. Alright, so to begin with I'm going to talk about things you need to do before you can start breeding and then go into the actual breeding process step by step. The first thing you want to do to get started is fly to Surchester City. Here you will find the Oval Charm which is an item that makes Pokemon you put in the daycare have a higher chance of producing eggs. To get this item you want to go inside the hotel on the left hand side of the main plaza. Then use the elevator to go to the second story. From here, enter the first room on your left and talk to the police officer. You will have to beat him in a double battle and after you win, he will give you the Oval Charm. Next you want to get a Pokemon with Flame Body. This will half the amount of steps you need to take for an egg to hatch. A super quick way to get one is to head to Route 3 and catch a Roly Coley. You can go either left or right from where you fly in because these things are everywhere. Now, Roly Coley doesn't have Flame Body by default. What we want to do is catch one and check for its ability to be Heat Proof. If you have a Roly Coley that has the ability Heat Proof, when it evolves into a Carcoal, Heat Proof will be replaced by Flame Body. Once you get one, you can use an EXP Candy on it to evolve it straight away. The next item on our list is the Everstone, which you can grab by coming to this spot in Turf Field. Getting to the end of our list, you want to grab the Destiny Knot and any power items you need from inside the Hammerlock Pokemon Center. For my case, I'll be picking up the Power Anklet. And finally, the last thing you need is a Pokemon you actually want to breed. And as you may have guessed from the intro, I have decided to go with Coughing. I should mention at this point, if you want to get a certain nature for your Pokemon, you can get that now before you start breeding either with a synchronized Pokemon or just by catching a bunch of them. But it is not actually 100% necessary to get that now, and I will explain why near the end of the breeding process. Now we are going to move on to the actual breeding. Fly to the Pokemon Nursery on Route 5 and then deposit all of the Pokemon in your party except for Karkoal. Now I'm going to show some visuals to help represent the concept of replacement that we are going to use. As you can see from the IV stats of my three ditto, between the three of them I have all six IVs maxed. Now the attack IV doesn't matter for my coughing so we're just going to pretend that it doesn't exist. We want to start on the very left and get the maxed speed IV on coughing. Then we will carry over to the middle ditto where we will aim to get a coughing with a maxed HP and speed IV. Then we will move on to the last ditto where we can freely replace coughing until we get the 5 IVs that we want. To start, I'm going to give my ditto with the max speed IV the power anklet to hold. If you have a Pokemon that already has the nature you want, then give him the Everstone. Now deposit both of these Pokemon into the nursery and bike around this area for a little bit. When you see the daycare lady crossing her arms, it means that she has an egg ready. Collect this egg and take back your Pokemon and ditto. The reason for this is because the egg we got is guaranteed to have its speed IV max because of the power anklet. Once you hatch this egg, you can move on to the next stage. I will get my ditto with maxed HP, defense, and special defense IVs, and give him the destiny knot. If you've already been passing a nature, keep on giving all your new coughings the Everstone. But if you haven't been, then give him the power item you were using earlier. This will make things go a bit faster. Now we move on to getting a new set of eggs, and remember, for this stage, due to my ditto ordering, all I need to do is hatch a coughing with max HP and speed to advance. This does not take very long at all, and you could very likely get one within your first 5 eggs. So now that we have our new coughing, we again replace our old one, as well as switching the dittos and both of their hold items as well. Now we are on the third stage, and we no longer have to switch dittos anymore. From here we can get into the rhythm of hatching coughing, finding a better one with more maxed IVs, and then replacing our old coughing. 
just remember that any Pokemon you want to use as a replacement needs to still have the maxed IVs of the previous stages. Keep on doing this and eventually you will get to a point where you have your first 5 IV coughing. Funnily enough, at just 14 eggs in, I hatched a coughing with all 6 IVs maxed and I found it before I even got my first 5 IV coughing. If you were using an Everstone, then at this point, when you get your 5 IV Pokemon, you will be done. However, if you are using a power item, you still have some more steps to go before you can get your nature. You do, however, have a couple of options here. The first option is to just use a Nature Mint on your first 5 IV Pokemon. It will take a few battles at the Battle Tower, but it is a very reliable option. The second option is to keep breeding until you get a coughing with the nature you want, and then give him the Everstone and swap him into the daycare. You will get to a point where you can swap Ditto out for an alternate gender version of the Pokemon you were breeding with a higher max IV count. This will allow you to pump out a lot of Pokemon all with 5 IVs each. Now that covers everything to do with the core mechanics of breeding. I'm going to be leaving some tips and advice in the description of this video. These are things which can be potentially very useful, but I couldn't quite fit them in a good place in the actual video. Feel free to ask any questions, and thank you all for watching.